They've got loads of sugar in. If I want to get fat, I should drink smoothies. 6.8 grams of fat, 0.6 grams of sugar. It's the 0.6 grams of sugar that makes sausages so unhealthy. So I'm in a standard UK supermarket. I'm going to look at some of the some of the foods, everyday foods that people buy and take a look at what it is about them that is making people fat. What's the cause of the obesity epidemic? Can we find it? So minced beef here, you can see that most of the calories are coming from fat. So this is 5% fat, British beef. So if you want to get 5% fatter, then eat that. So we've got the 10% fat. So if I want to get 10% fatter, then I need to eat organic beef. You know, you're taking the fat directly from the animal and putting it into your body. And your body, your body uses that fat more efficiently as fat storage. It's easier for the body to take a fat and turn it into fat than it is for it to use it up in energy. So here we've got some of our processed meat. Processed or not, it's all gonna have the same effect on your body. Processed is just probably gonna kill you a little bit quicker. Meat in general, it's just, it's all gonna have the same artery clogging effect. All that saturated fat. We got the wool sausages, 6.8 grams of fat, 0.6 grams of sugar. So it's the 0.6 grams of sugar that makes sausages so unhealthy. Bacon though. Oh, look at those juices. Oh my God, that's disgusting. <laughs> you can feel the grease coming through the packaging. I mean, look at it. Like, you can see the amount of fat in that. And gristle. Fat and gristle. We've got bacon lardons for if you want to put extra lard on. People think that eating fish, fish like salmon is healthy. You can get omega-3s from plant sources just as easily as you can from fish. You can get all the DHA and EPA that you need without all the extra rubbish that you get with eating salmon and fish. The amount of cholesterol that you're going to be getting from these eggs is going to be insane. And if you, your heart isn't going to need it. <laughs> you don't need it for, uh, for hormone production. You don't need to add extra cholesterol that you wouldn't be getting from fruits and vegetables. Plant oil is definitely going to be better for you than oil from animal sources, but at the end of the day, it's all saturated fat that's going to be having the same effect on your arteries, on your heart. A lot of these companies market themselves as being heart healthy, that oil is good for you, that the people who drink a lot of olive oil, <laughs> eat a lot of olive oil, are going to live long when really it's, it's more to do with the, the vegetables and the fruit in their diet than it is to do with the oil. If you were to take away the oil from, from your diet, you'd be far healthier. The less oil, the better. Crisps, crisps are a perfect example of how you turn something that is incredibly healthy, high carb, into something that is high fat and unhealthy. You know, you take a potato and as soon as you cook it in oil, bake it in oil, you turn into some, something that becomes junk food. When a potato is probably one of the most healthy, high carb things you can eat. It's something that is incredibly low fat, a potato on its own, and then you add sunflower oil to it. It's the oil that you cook these potatoes in. It's the oil that coats these potatoes that is the thing that is gonna make people fat. And we've got some food here directly marketed at kids with a high fat content. Teaching kids that if, if only dinosaurs were still alive so that we could also eat them as well. 
This is how twisted people have got it. People think that the carbs in this pizza is the thing that's going to be bad for them. The tomato and the crust and the base are probably the best things in this pizza. The 17 grams of fat are going to be coming from the cheese, going to come from the meat. And then we've got chocolate. People blame the sugar in the chocolate for the thing that's making them fat. When really just as many calories are coming from fat as they are from carbohydrates in most chocolate bars. But people will blame the sugar. Instead of, instead of people talking about hidden sugar in our foods making our children fat, why aren't we talking about the real cause, the hidden dairy? I mean, I know the dairy isn't really hidden in Dairy Lee Dunkers, but you know, marketing food to children that has dairy in it and worrying about sugar. What about the hidden dairy? The hidden dairy in things like pastry, the hidden dairy in biscuits, the hidden dairy in chocolate. Dairy is probably one of the most easy things to not only give up and replace, but find something that's way better. There are just so many alternatives. Just, you don't, you definitely don't need yogurts to increase the health of your gut. The more important thing is getting fiber from whole, real food. Not getting it, not getting extra gut bacteria that isn't even supposed to be in your gut from yogurts. How come in a slimming yogurt, the sugar content is so high and the fat content is so low? I find it really interesting that with these, these diet cereals, they have an incredibly high sugar content and a very low fat content. And you think with the, with the mainstream logic that sugar is the thing that's making you fat, that's causing the obesity epidemic, that a diet cereal would be the last place that you'd find a sugar, a high sugar content, when that's just not the reality. People demonize canned fruit for its high sugar content, but if canned fruit was all I could afford, I'd rather get fruit than get none. There's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with canned fruit. Whether it's in water or syrup, you know, I would. I'd rather get some fruit than none if, if that's all I could afford. Half sugar jam, making you 50% more undercarved. It's like this sort of half calorie sugar stuff. Stop pretending. So the, these, should, these should make me fat. They've got loads of sugar in. Yeah, so if I want to get fat, I should drink smoothies. That's right, isn't it? If I want to get fat, I should drink fresh orange juice. We've reached the heart of the obesity epidemic. This is ground zero 